If I told you that there are AI tools out there doing video editing, scripting, thumbnail designing, and even talking as you, would you believe me? Tool 1. Runway ML. The Swiss Army Knife for Creators. First up, Runway ML. This one's like if Final Cut Pro and ChatGPT had a super genius baby. From in-painting to background removal to text-to-video, Runway lets you generate full video scenes from a single sentence. Pros. Crazy fast generations. One platform. A dozen tools. Edit. Enhance. Animate. Beginner-friendly. Cons. Characters can look like they're moonwalking. Unintentionally. Sometimes the quality dips. Think VHS nostalgia, but not on purpose. Best use case. B-rolls, cinematic intros, quick visual storytelling. Tool 2, Sora by OpenAI. Hollywood in a prompt. Next, Sora. Honestly, this thing should come with a red carpet. It can create photorealistic 20-second video clips that look like they were shot with a RED camera. Pros, natural physics, lighting, textures. Looks real, like real real. Great for emotional storytelling and human scenes. Cons. Content moderation can be strict. It once flagged my puppy in a garden as dangerous. Doesn't always stick to your exact vision. Best use case. Product ads, lifestyle montages, storytelling scenes. Tool 3. Haluo. Minimax. Chaos, but in a good way. Then we have Hiluo, also called Minimax. This one? It's the wild child. It throws motion, color, and energy into everything you generate. Imagine asking for a chef flipping a flaming pan, and instead, you get a Michael Bay kitchen explosion. Pros, hyperactive, vibrant visuals, multiple video outputs at once, great for action-packed content. Cons, characters tend to randomly talk, even when they shouldn't. Resolution, think more GIF than Netflix. Best use case, fast-paced montages, action scenes, gaming intros. Tool 4, Luma Dream Machine. Simplicity is its superpower. Ever wanted a tool that doesn't overwhelm you with buttons, sliders, and pop-ups? Meet Luma, the tool that lets you type, click, and chill. It's blazing fast, but here's the twist. It makes everything look like a dream sequence from a coming-of-age movie. Pros. One of the fastest AIs around. No learning curve. Good for stylized shots. Cons. Movements are floaty. Like zero gravity floaty. Visuals lack that cinematic pop. Best use case. Lo-fi scenes. Conceptual storytelling. Animated narratives. Tool 5. Hey Jen. The face of your channel. Literally. Say hello to your new AI twin. HeyGen lets you create hyper-realistic AI avatars that can talk, gesture, and even clone your voice in multiple languages. I made an explainer video with me on screen without ever turning on the camera. Creepy? Yes. Convenient? Absolutely. And if you're running a faceless channel, this is basically your on-screen talent. Pros. Realistic avatars with custom gestures and lip sync. Multi-language support with voice cloning. Great for explainer content, announcements, or faceless branding. Cons. Slight uncanny valley in certain facial movements. Voice output sometimes lacks emotion, but it's improving fast. Best use case. Faceless channels, brand videos, or when you want you on camera without being on camera. Tool 6. Pika Labs, the motion graphics genie. This one's a secret weapon for those high-energy animated sequences. Pika Labs lets you turn simple text prompts into slick animated visuals and kinetic typography. Pros, fantastic for intros, transitions, and animated explainers. Comes with templates and built-in editing overlays. Updates frequently with trending styles. Cons, limited control over timing and motion flow. Visuals can feel a little TikTok heavy if not fine-tuned. Best use case, animated intros, dynamic lower thirds, or pumping up your channel's visual branding. Tool 7, Kling AI, the director's cut machine. Finally, we've got Kling AI. This one? Think of it as the Stanley Kubrick of AI tools. You get full character consistency, 
face training, cinematic zooms, and brace yourself. Unreal. Pros. Elements equals game-changing continuity. Negative prompts allow for fine-tuning by blurry faces. Facial expressions and scene control are excellent. Cons. Has a steeper learning curve. Gets confused with more than two characters. Best use case. Narratives. Skits. Storytelling sequences with recurring characters. So here's the truth. 2025 isn't the future. It's now. Also smash that like, punch that subscribe button.